Holiday shoppers steer clear of giant retailers to browse around some smaller shops. Good evening, I'm Amber Schatz. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for joining us tonight. If you shop... A Christmas tree lights up Main Street Minot, enticing shoppers with sparkly and special incentives downtown. Kelly Volk takes us to the all-day celebration up north. And now Jared joins us with a, a first look at the forecast. Jared, how are you? Yourself. I'm doing great. Yes. Uh, last time I saw you, you were a lot heavier. I feel like you lost like 50 pounds. <laughs> yes, I've lost just a little bit of weight. Well, <laughs> good so. for you. Thanks, thanks for noticing. Good for you. Uh, yeah, so our, our weather today. For In other news around the state tonight, authorities say a Black Friday shoplifter in Grand Forks abandoned a cart full of stolen items and hit a store employee with her car as she sped away from the parking lot. Police say the incident... It appears it was a busy day for responders. <laughs> Firefighters also were called to a Sam's Club in Bismarck to help extinguish a trash fire in the parking lot. Around 8.45 yesterday morning, the Bismarck Fire Department responded to a report of a trash fire in the parking lot of Sam's Club. A driver from Waste Management had pulled into the parking lot and emptied the garbage truck's contents after noticing smoke coming from the top. The fire department used approximately 500 gallons. I repeat, 500 gallons of water and foam to extinguish the fire. There were no injuries at this incident. Getting home to see family can cost a lot of time and money, especially if you're flying. Add in all the baggage fees, the weight limits, and airport lines, it's enough to send any frequent flyer packing. But reporter Kay Cooley introduces us to a new product that can help you avoid all of those things. To get your own hands on some wearable luggage, Ooh. you'll have to go online. The product line is based in Europe and starts at around $100. That's a, that's a bargain for a Jack Togo, if you ask me. It's a sure sign that the holiday season is here. Santa Claus gets spotted coming to town. Excited kids had to patiently wait for their turn on the big man's lap. Children and families first get to wave to Santa as he par parades through Mandan. Kids then line up to get their picture taken with him and Mrs. Claus. Although some kids were a little shy to sit on Santa's lap, others couldn't wait to tell him what's on their list. Along with Santa's visit, families can enjoy uh, wagon rides, caroling, and some mores <laughs> in downtown Mandan. And maybe they'll get a Jack Togo. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. All right. Keep it here. Still to come on KX News tonight. There's been a bit of a hairy situation this month. One reason why. But first, meteorologist Jared Piepenberg lets us know if you'll want the extra facial warmth this weekend. He's in the Dakota Storm Center next. Well, there is a North Dakota winter for you. It's mm. coming this way. It's coming. No escaping it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jared. Coming up on KX News, some men have pushed their facial hair to the limits. Up first, though, it's all about the speed limit in this small town. We'll show you who is keeping an eye on drivers with a lead foot when we come back. Amber, you look lovely tonight. Thank you, Ron. You too. Are you married? No. <laughs> well, I am, so don't get any ideas. It's not too often you can call a sheriff's deputy a dummy and get away with it, even though I have. But in rural <laughs> Slope County, North Dakota, there's an exception. An old Crown Victoria sits and waits to surprise speeders who may travel through the county seat of Amidon too fast. Here's more on the deputy who's been causing double takes for more than 20 years. Although the actual sheriff says the town of Amidon is more known for its fairgrounds and church, many residents say the squad car usually sticks out as the most memorable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, well, I have no idea. <laughs> Coming up next in yes. sports, it's a rivalry weekend. John Schaefer has Bobcat highlights as they take on the hated Bruins. Mm. Sports is next. There's no love lost when it comes to the rivalry between the Austin Bruins and Bismarck Bobcats. Both teams are in a constant battle for the top spot in the NAHL Central Division. Play You're good football today, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. It's a tough call. I've never seen fighting in a hockey match before. No. That was neither. fascinating. Thank you, John. <laughs> no problem. Still to come tonight, one local man wins a bet 
by more than just a hair. <laughs> Why he and his wife are relieved. November is over. Plus, Jared takes a last look at the forecast. It can get pretty cold this time of year, and a lot of men choose to forego their razors or trimmers for a little thing called No Shave November. <laughs> Some choose to let mm -hmm. their facial hair grow all month long. <laughs> Sheldon says he was going to shave his beard after Thanksgiving, so I'm sure he's feeling a little bit more of a breeze on his face right now. Mm -hmm. And there's also Movember for mustaches. I'm and fond of those. Ron, <laughs> I was wondering about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How long did it take you to grow that bad boy? This, about 20 minutes. <laughs> Impressive. You guys did a good job tonight. Impressive. I can't wait you to do. do it for real. That was a good warm up. Yes, very good warm up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, well, we did get you something here. We would like to officially thank you for being our special co anchor. Oh my god. PX that, News this sweatshirt. Is, what is it? Is it a, a burp towel? <laughs> it's cashmere. Oh no. It's a sweatshirt. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is lovely. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Right. I appreciate you. it so much. And, and it, was, it was wonderful to be here. It really was. Stay classy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Coming in. Thank you. Oh, is, am I supposed to read that? <laughs>